What are you doing? <laughs> Get on the couch! Hi, I'm Luke, and this is my kid. <laughs> We're gonna do yoga. Yoga! Okay. I wanna do some yoga! Let's do some yoga! So here's what we're going to do. This is technically what we would do before our downward facing dog. Just because. Oh, yeah, yeah. See what it feels like to inhale. Pick up your right hand and your left foot. Opposite hand and foot. Nice. The bird dog. Breathe deep. <laughs> As you exhale, bring your elbow to your knee and squeeze out all the air. <laughs> inhale it back out. Nice. Exhale it. Squeeze it under. Inhale it back out. One more time. Squeeze out the air. And inhale it up. Release it down. Ah. Nice. Okay. You're going to top the foot back. Top of the foot down, the back foot. All right. Ready to do the other side? Yep. You ready to do this? Ready? Take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your core tight, strong, belly button, spine. Inhale, left hand, right foot. There we are, baby, yeah! Hold it, hold it. Exhale, elbow to the knee, squeeze. Inhale it out. Long and strong. Exhale and squeeze the core. Inhale it out. Very, very nice. Exhale, curl it under, squeeze. Inhale it out. Ah. And release it down. Very nice, very nice. How's that feel? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's look and make sure our hands are nice and spread out. That pointer finger pointing straight ahead. Good? We're good. Okay, take a big breath. Extend through your shoulders long. As you exhale, push your hips back. Breathe and extend wrist to the hips. As you exhale, go ahead and relax your neck. Pushing those hips back a little bit. Maybe wiggling the hips side to side because it's a good stretch. And a good workout in the arms and getting lots of blood to your brain. Pretty good for you. This is why the dogs must love to do it. You want to go ahead and inhale, shifting into a push-up position. If you need to drop your knees here, you can. As you exhale, come just halfway down. Can you bring your ribs, elbows into your ribs? Chaturanga Dandasana. <laughs> Relax into the ground. Inhale, peel up your torso into an upward dog. Nice. Feel good? Yep. We can lift the hips up if that feels good. Tops the feet down. Try that. There you go. What? This feels Relax. wrong. Relax. Push back into the down dog. Go ahead and walk your hands up towards your feet. Doo -doo -doo. Soft bend the knees. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Set your hips down. Inhale. Come all the way up. Reach up there. We're standing up, oh. <laughs> exhaling the palms to the heart. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. How'd that feel? I'm really surprised that I could do Chaturanga the first time I've ever been able to do it. You getting strong? Let's see the muscles. Seriously? Seriously, let's see it. Get it out there. Get it out there. Ah, uh, come on, Dad. Oh, yeah. You're buff. Look at that buff. We could cut it out. Cut it out. Okay. Are you really going to cut the bloopers? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, okay. oh, you hope so. <laughs> Got to figure something out. Okay. Yo, there's one of those cool poses that everybody does all the time. I can't remember what the, what's it called? Rhymes with frog? <laughs> cat. No, it's, it's the upward cat. No, it's the downward dog. The downward dog. Adomuka Shpanasana. Downward facing dog. Ready? There's lots of ways to do a down dog, but try it like this. We want to go ahead and bring our feet about hip distance apart. And we want to take a big breath and stretch up big. As we exhale, coming forward, soften the knees, come into a deep fold. Oh, that feels good. We've been here already a little bit today, but maybe you haven't. 
I'm going to tuck my pants in. Tuck my pants in? Tuck my shirt into my pants. Okay. <laughs> here we go. We're here. Go ahead and walk your hands out. Oh, a couple steps. And then look down at your hands. Are they a little bit about in line with your shoulders or a little bit wide? Yeah. See if you can lift up your fingertips and push down into that meaty part of your fingers. Ah, and then grip the earth. And as you inhale, push your hips back and straighten your legs. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Nicely done. So what we want to do here is we're going to breathe just a little bit. I'm going to go sideways so maybe everybody can see better. What we want to do is we inhale, we want to push and extend long armpits. And as we exhale, we want to relax our neck a little bit. Let the head hang. We want to squeeze our legs. It's okay if the heels are up, but we want to push the heels toward the ground as much as we can. We're here. Maybe kind of pedaling out the knees a little bit again. See what it feels like side to side. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Be long from your shoulders to your hips. And as you exhale, go ahead and bring your knees down. Ah. We want to go ahead and come down onto our chest. And then as we inhale, pushing up to the upward facing dog. Oh. Urdva Mukha. Does that feel good? I did a push up instead. That's okay. We kind of skipped our try to rock, but we're going to do it on yeah. the way up. Lift the chin, extend through the shoulders, roll your shoulders back. Ugh. Push if that feels good. As you exhale, go ahead and rock your hips back towards your heels. Ugh. The child's pose. Balasana. Taking a breath, crawl your fingers out a little bit. As you exhale, push your wrist into the ground and close your rib cage strongly. Feel a little stretch there. Relax your neck. Coming on up. Okay, so let's stretch out our shoulders a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and take our right hand and thread it underneath our left. And then go ahead and start to set our shoulder and our ear down toward the floor. Oh, and just reach. We want to kind of push into that back of that hand and kind of like we're trying to drag our arm across. Can you just get a good stretch on the back of the shoulder? Am I feeling it right? You so are feeling it right. I'm also feeling it on my elbow. Yeah. Good, good stretch. I don't feel anything with my arms right there. That's okay. Doesn't mean it's not stretching. So you want to... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> when we push into the ground, and kind of pull on it a little bit. Oh, feel a stretch. Come on up. It's a good point, though, because even if you don't feel a stretch, you're still stretching the muscles, right? Because you're moving your body. Yeah. Okay, so take your other hand, stretch on it. Reading. Roll it down, the ears on the ground. See what it feels like to just kind of push into the floor with that long arm. Pull on that shoulder a little bit. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Coming on for breath. <sighs> and then come on up. I'm going to go ahead and set our cell back a little bit onto our hips. Does that feel good? Yeah. Hero pose. This is a pose? Yeah. Virasana. <laughs> you don't actually want to bring your knees together. Try that. Good? Feel good? Yeah. Okay. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, let them float back down. Palms turn down. Come forward just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. We're here. What we're going to do is just stretch out our shoulders. We want to just go ahead and start to drop our chin to our chest and roll the ear toward the shoulder one side oh and slowly roll to the other side feel the neck and you can roll your turn your palms up and down and just kind of feel what's going on in your neck mm. you feel stretch uh, yes yes indeed Mercy, it feels glorious. Finding any spot that feels like a sweet spot, just stay with it, but breathe into it. As you inhale, imagine breathing in and all the air and energy coming into the body, going to that spot that feels tight. And as you exhale, try to relax it and let go a little bit. Intentionally release the muscle as best you can. Just a time or two more. Letting the chest, uh, chin come to the chest. And we want to go ahead and start to inhale, slowly look straight up, reaching up, 
Exhaling, palms coming to the heart. Whew. All right. Not bad. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> All right. All right, this is the, uh, the after shot, how to strengthen your practice, how to get a little bit better each day that you practice. And so we're going to break down this dog or dog just a little bit. So go ahead, kiddo, and I'm just set up your base for a downward facing dog. So one of the things we want to look at is our pointer fingers. We want to make sure our pointer fingers are pointing straight ahead. And we want to spread the fingers out nice and big and kind of roll that pressure from here. We press into the ground and roll out and kind of grip the earth. And then we want to go ahead and extend through the shoulders like that. Beautiful. Toes are curled under. As you exhale, push your hips up and back. Nice. As you inhale, you want to lengthen. You want to see if you can push from your wrist to your hips and get a little bit longer. And then push your heels toward the floor just as much as you can. It's okay if your knees stay bent just a little bit, and it's okay if your heels don't touch the floor. But we got a nice angle here. And if it feels a little bit unstable, what we can do is walk our feet in a little bit closer to the hands. See how that feels. Just a little bit. Bend the knees. There you go. Tilt your tailbone toward the sky. There we go. Take a breath. Lengthen from the wrist to the hips. Long. And then relax the neck. Taking a breath. And go ahead and bring those knees down to the ground. Very nice. Take a child's pose here. Dropping back and just relax to the neck and the shoulders. And the child's pose, we want to let go of any tension right here. We just want to totally let go. Best we can. You can wiggle the hips kind of side to side. That can feel good to kind of massage the hips. So these are ways that you can work on your downward facing dog to make it a little bit stronger, a little bit longer. So those are the tips for the day. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below and we'll keep the good stuff coming. Can I get up here? Yeah, you can get up.